top of the morning to you i'm your anchor slash news reporter kush and today it looks like we had a kennedy situation i don't need to remind you exactly what happened most of you already know it it's been going viral all over social media it's like a celebrity's nude being leaked and it's being shared everywhere and for those of you who just woke up and you have no idea what just happened trump got 50 cent no, he didn't take eight bullets to his chest and survive and go to a hospital, recover and come back, take a revenge and make a rap song. No, he took a bullet, well, a little bit slashed through the ear and it started bleeding. And instead of putting his head down, run to safety, cover himself, he decided to stand tall and make history. It is going, that picture that they took, it is going to be talked about for centuries and shown to the generations to come he raised his fist and he told all the haters especially joe biden suck my fist bitch honestly at this point joe biden needs to shoot himself in the foot or something at least something stage something we don't care for you to be able to compete with trump right now because everyone's on trump's side and everyone's saying trump is already won the elections there's no need to guys wrap it up it's a wrap cut it, it, top one now, there has been some interesting things po being posted online we're gonna go through them one by one let you know on exactly what happened what is going on and we're going to give our take on it you see this donkey reddit master ksi forehead person over here well he's no longer with us because the second he decided to pew pew three times or four times at donald trump he became a target practice to 500 guns pointed at him now i don't need to show you the pictures of donald trump you've already seen his ear how it is i'm not sure if this is edited or not drama alert posted this and i don't trust anything from drama alert but other channels have been posting this as well saying that this was the bullet if he he turned his head at the right time everyone is making theory god's angel protected him god is on his side america forever people are just jumping into theories and talking out of their ass because end of the day it is twitter trump said in his statement i knew immediately that something was wrong and in that i heard a whistling sound shots and i immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin much bleeding took place so i realized then what was happening he also said i want to thank the united states secret service and all of the law enforcement for the rapid response i don't think you need to be thanking them i think you need to be questioning them <laughs> mr donald trump most importantly i want to extend my condolences to the family of the person oh yeah spoiler alert not only the shooter lost his life another person lost her life as well while she was amongst the audience and two other people got critically injured now when i first found out about the situation it was through the live stream a couple of hours ago and i could not believe my eyes i thought it was actually fake because it sounded like a toy gun or something being shot at and my question is how come this many agencies were in a open area okay there's no 20 30 story buildings where you can go hide in between the window open the window a little bit just like the movies and put your sniper out he was in plain sight and no one saw him in broad daylight 10 years ago they would have taken him out the second he would have revealed himself but this time the security guards the agencies that were scrolling through tiktok they were chilling and once they heard the shots that's when they started to take action now this is the place that bro was laying down with his big ass sniper and you're telling me no one saw him why because his pants it looks like the same color as the containers over here he went john cena mode he went camouflage mode makes you really start questioning things did trump plan this so he would look good because even they were so close at each other as well they weren't far either this guy has really skill issues he can't take a simple shot or he was meant to miss the shot and just shoot some bullets in the air and trump quickly squishes his ear and just blood comes out and he's like america look what they're trying to do to me select me for president again either that or biden put him up to this and from all the movies i've seen politics is a dirty thing it must be something internal it's people the people who make the decisions in this world they wanted him gone shit is very complicated now i know i make a couple of jokes left and right but on a serious note we can't tell what exactly happened we just gotta wait for further investigation to see who was behind this was it was this a solo act what's the whole story behind it and we don't we still don't know if they're going to be telling us the truth or not because politics is just dirty after all sleepy joe posted this on his twitter saying i've been briefed on the shooting on donald trump's rally in pennsylvania i'm grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well no you're not 
no, 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 you're not grateful. Why are you lying? I'm praying for him and his family and for all those who were at the rally as we wait for further inf uh, information. Jill and I are grateful for Secret Service for getting him to safety. I don't. Why are they thanking the Secret Service? This is such a huge fail from their side. They had one job, just one job. If a person just randomly comes out from the crowd and just pulls a gun out of his ass because they should have been checked before that, then sure, understandable. But if a person is John Cena mode in on a rooftop by himself pointing a weapon at Trump and no one saw him, he wasn't even in a Secret Service uniform or something. He didn't even steal any uniforms. And there's an interview with one of the people over there who saw the shooter before the shooting happened. He got interviewed and he had some very interesting things to say. We noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's guy on the roof with a rifle and the police were like huh what you know like like they didn't know what was going on you know we're like hey right here on the roof we can see him from right here we see him you know he's he's crawling and next thing you know i'm like i'm thinking to myself i'm like why is trump still speaking why have they not pulled him off the stage i'm standing there pointing at him for you know two three minutes secret service is looking at us from the top of the barn i'm pointing at that roof just standing there like this and next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. hundred percent. And he, he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three and to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police in the Secret Service? We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service. It's got to be an inside corrupt thing happening. Biden giving an order or some other people wanting to take him out. There is no way... That a secret service, any threat, even if someone says, oh, look, this guy might have a gun. They need to go look and investigate the shit. Their potential president and the former president is there. And if there's a threat in that area with that amount of people, law enforcement over there, they 100% need to go check it. But they're like, oh, no, no, it's it's fine. No, it's fine. We'll check it out after like tomorrow. Not not today. Now, I don't like talking about politics, but I'm super invested in this drama. I want to see who was behind this whole thing. My best guess is they're probably going to just blame it on that one guy. He was just a Trump hater and he just, you know, wanted to do this because he hates Trump. I say it's internally because the Secret Service did a very horrible job on defending the one person that they should defend and just figure out whatever threat that there is, especially in that area, in an open area where shit is visible in daylight. 2024 is not real. This past couple of months, every single day, there has been huge dramas, not like mini dramas or medium dramas. Huge dramas dunking on us. I won't be surprised if next month dinosaurs come back and take this world as well. Shit is just crazy. Three months from now, we might have a super villain with the superpowers that ran away from Area 51. Aliens coming. We don't know. Shit is... <laughs> it's too much. Now, this is the first time that the Simpsons predictions are wrong. Here it says, Trump gets shot. He goes and meets his maker. But in this case, he just raised his fist and he told everyone a big F you and took a historical photo now this whole thing is obviously under investigation still trump is in good condition according to the sources out on the internet bbc cnn and all these people and it has been informed that he's going to be showing up in a couple of hours to a ufc event there's a ufc happening tonight and he's going to walk out with dana white and they're going to turn that shit up it's going to be absolutely wild everyone's just fangirling over him right now saying trump 2024 make america great again and sleepy joe like i told you you gotta do something about this you gotta make something bleed at least but anyways just wanted to talk about this let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed the video give it a sub give it a like take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one